Hello everyone, in this video I will be teaching you how to create an IK rig from a Fortnite skin in Blender. So you may be asking yourself, you know, like what is an IK rig? So an IK rig is basically just the way you control your character in the 3D software. So you can control it with FK, which is forward kinematics where you animate from like each joint and then there's forward kinematics where it's much more like suitable for doing animations and stuff. IK is, or FK is more used for like single pose, like thumbnails and stuff like that. But I mean, you can use either or in any case, okay? So here's this IK rig I did with Flash so I can show you guys. This is what FK is. See, I'm controlling it from this one bone and everything else kind of bends accordingly, like so, right? Let me just reset that. And then FK, so if we disable um, IK, we'll go down to the IK bone, go down to the constraints and turn down the influence. It is now in FK mode. So basically what that is, is in order to control it, you actually have to control each joint like so, like this, right? But it's not very efficient when you're doing these long animations and it gets really complicated, especially with the feet. You want them to be locked on the ground and you don't want to have to do a bunch of things. So, we turn the influence back up, back to normal. There we go, same for the feet. We go down here. You can see if I just control it from this one bone, everything moves accordingly. And that's how animation should be, just simple like that, right? Same for the pelvis, you can just boom and now you can just move everything. So this is what this model looks like coming out of um, the Fortnite files. F it's only an FK, right? There's no IK bones, nothing at all, right? You're gonna be in object mode probably like this. You wanna click on your skeleton like this. You wanna go to edit mode. Boom. You've already, you're already halfway there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna select any bone on this side. So just say, select this, right? and then hold shift, then click G, and then click suffix. That's gonna select all the bones on the right side. Um, I don't wanna select this hoodie bone because we're not gonna, that doesn't really have anything to do with these bones. We're just gonna be wanting to mess around with these bones. So I'm gonna click C to do a circle select and then hold shift and then drag over this to delete, deselect it. I'm gonna right click to get out of the circle select and I'm going to delete these right side bones or technically left side for the night but click X to delete delete bones boom okay we're already we're doing good we're doing something that's for sure okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to this side you've deleted all your bones on the other side go to this bone right here it's called hand R hold shift then click D don't move anything click enter right up here in bone properties go to this name and you want to change it to IK underscore hand underscore gun okay and then you want to go down to the relations tab go to parent and then parent that to the root perfect okay so we got these two bones here right i'm gonna go back to the click the hand r uh actually no just click on the yeah ik handgun shift d boom click enter rename this to ik hand underscore r or whichever side that you deleted the other side. Okay, and then you wanna parent that to the bone you just made. So IK underscore hand, here it is, handgun. So there that is. So you have those three bones, you have those two bones you just made, hand R and IK handgun. I'm gonna go into this view up here and you want to select this side of the lower arm R. You wanna select that end right there. It's kinda of hard to see in this view but you can do the best. Click E to extrude, Y to lock it on that axis, 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 whatever you want to call it. And then go to the move tool, make sure this is unconnected. And then you just want to select the whole thing and drag it out, just like right here, All right? Rename this hole underscore arm underscore R, full arm R, and then Parent that to the pelvis. You can parent it to the pelvis or the root, but for me, I find it much easier to just do animation if you just parent it to the pelvis, right? So you got that. 
Next thing you want to do is to the foot. Click on the foot R, Shift D, Enter, and then just make this IK foot underscore R. Just print that to the root. Boom. And then you're going to want to click the end of this bone right here, calf R. Zoom out, click E, and then just click Y to lock it to the Y, and then fully select it, and it'll say it's connected right here. You don't want that, or else it'll like drag out all those bones. You want to click uncheck for the connected, and then you can drag it out about there, right? And this is the whole underscore leg underscore R, and then you can parent that to the pelvis as well. So you have those things. You're ready to put together the IK. So go to pose mode. Click on your IK hand R. Hold shift. Click again. So that'll select the hand R as well as the IK. Hold shift and I. And then it'll, want, it'll ask you to add an IK to active bone. Click that. Boom. Next. You want to take your mouse. Go over to whatever this is. It's bone constraint properties. Now you're in this tab. So you want to enable rotation change the chain length to three, and then you want to change the pull target to your armature. And then the bone, you want to type pull arm R for the hand and the arm. Boom, and then your arm's gonna look a little funky, so what you want to do is change the pull angle to 180 degrees. And there you go, you got the IK for the hand. So if you just click on this outside bone, the IK hand R, you can just move this up and down. You see, you've already got, you've already made an IK. Just Round of applause, bro. Round of applause. But now we do the foot. This one is a little more complicated. Just kidding. It's 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 not complicated. But just click on the uh, IK foot R. Hold shift. Click again. And now you selected those two things. Hold shift I to active bone. Boom. You'll be in the same spot again. Just change the rotation. I mean, like check it. Uh, change the chain length again to three. Not two. Three. Pull target armature pull leg R for the bone and then this one's also gonna look a little funky and you want to change the pull angle to 180 but you're not done yet you're not done yet for the leg you're not done so you'll see the IK it's a little rough like you can see if you move it like at certain angles it kind of just does that right so we can fix that really easily by going over here click on the calf R like the the elbow or not the the knee bone right and then you click the bone properties go all the way down to inverse kinematics click limit z and then change the max to zero boom and now you'll see that when you do this it's kind of it's more controlled it's you know what i mean it's it's much nicer looking it's much nicer okay so you're basically done there you just have to get the other side of the bones on so you select one right side bone, we already have this one selected. Hold shift, click G, click suffix. It has everything selected. I'm gonna try to unselect, actually never mind everything that we need is uh, selected. Actually no, click C, hold shift, and deselect this bone right here. You don't want that. Click right click to get out of it. And then here's where we symmetrize it. So we right click any bone, and then we go down here to symmetrize. And everything is fine, but we have to change one thing for the knee. So go to from edit mode to pose mode, and then you click on this joint right here, the knee for the left leg, and then you go down to inverse kinematics. You see it already has the limit Z, but you need to change the max to 180, and you need to change the minimum to zero degrees. So that way you'll have the same result. Perfect, so now you can see when you grab the pelvis, it that's yeah you got the ik rig it looks really cool and you can do you know just much easier to control uh there's one thing to notice if you guys want to use um if you want to disable um at like ik you can disable it really easily you can keyframe the influence to use ik or fk sorry you can keyframe the influence i usually like to use fk for the arms and then ik for like the, the feet but you can change it up like you can change the influence but 
yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't always have to have IK, but it's good to rig it before, so, yeah. And that's it, so, I hope you guys took something away from this, I hope you guys were able to be successful with creating IK rigs, so, yeah, there's one more thing, uh, for the IK, what is it, the IK handgun, what that does, um, it's really useful for a character holding a gun because you can just control it. You can get it in the position with the IK, using the IK bones, but then if you want to like move them both at once, like both of the arms at once, you can use the IK handgun, right? Because when you're holding a gun, the arms are moving simultaneously, so you don't want it to look a little weird if you're just controlling them from the single bones, right? You're animating those separately, you want to hold it from the IK handgun, so. Yeah, that's just one little thing, but yeah, if you guys took anything away from that, you know, just tell me in the comment if you learned anything or any tips you have. But yeah, that's basically the video. If you guys enjoyed and please subscribe, you know, show your support, but yeah, so I guess that's it. So goodbye guys, bye.